Hi, this is Mark Dame from Davis Tech. We're going to be demonstrating the high cal or basically our electronic height gauge from Fowler. When you first turn it on, you push this red button. That will automatically make it go up and down and home itself out. To do make it go up and down after it's on, you push these buttons up and down. So this is what it initializes. Now when this green light comes on, that means it's putting 6 grams of pressure on the end of the probe. So when I come over here, from the bottom to the top is 1 inch, 2 inch, 8, 8, 1 inch, 288 thousandths. If I want to clear that out, and the green light's on, I press set or clear, and that will zero it out. Then I can come up, and from the top of this to this depth here, I know that that's 481 and 5 ten thousandths of an inch. Now if I want to zero it out, again, I can zero it out. Come over and see what depth it is. You can see the green lights on and that tells me it's putting 6 grams of pressure on there. If we want to check a hole, Let's say I want to know what the center from the center of, or from the surface plate to the center of this center hole, where the center point is, and also the diameter of the hole. What I do is I'll come down here, I'll make sure that it's set at zero so I can clear it, then I'll come up, go into the hole, push this button right here, which has the true position and diameter symbol on it. Then I'm going to come down and sweep it so it finds the bottom of the hole. Then I'm going to push this button right here. It will automatically go up to the top of the hole. Then I sweep that hole also. And then that tells me the diameter of the hole and it tells me the tr center of the hole right here. So the hole size is 353 and 6 tenths. And from the surface plate to the center of the hole is 998 thousandths. If I wanted to check the diameter of this, of course you can use calipers and I can see that it's about 748 in diameter. I can also use the height gauge electronic height gauge to check the diameter of the outside of a circle. So I'll put it into my true position. Oops, push that on. Come down, sweep it so it finds the top of this. Then I'm going to come up and go to the bottom and come up. Oops. <laughs> and sweep it also. And that tells me it's 748 just like we found on the calipers. But it also tells me true position from the bottom of the surface plate. So that's another way to check for diameter using the electronic height gauge, whether it be an ID circle or an OD diameter. You can check it using the electronic height gauge. I'm going to check to see how parallel this surface is to this. So I'll bring it down. That tells me, and I'll clear it out, zero here with the green light on. Then I'll come up, and I'll come and I'll put that on there. It tells me it's two inches. Then as I go across here, it pretty much is two inches all the way across. Now, if I come back over here, and I'm just going to put this under this piece of paper like that, you can see that this edge 
is underneath there. Now when I come back down at this point here, it's two inches and two tenths. And then as I go all the way over to the end, it's now two inches, four thousandths. So that would show me that it's not parallel at all. Now to check flatness, usually what we do is we'll come off of three points Let's say something like this. And if you'll notice when I come to the top of this guy, I'll zero it out. And then I can come over to this other one. And that should be also zero within one tenth. And over to this one. And also one tenth. So when I bring something like this, touching off three points, and so it's only touching three points, now I'm checking for flatness. So I can come here, zero it out, then when I run this indicator across the top surface, I can see how flat it is. There we go.